what's up guys? Uh, out here with Jesse Bebo at his shop here in the middle of nowhere. But pretty much, yeah. Pretty close to the city. <laughs> city limits. We're checking out his 2017 builds here. Well, he's got the SR20 Miata. Yeah. And the VQ. VQ of uh, Nissan 350Z. Um, basically the SR20 was just, uh, it was really lacking power. Uh, you guys obviously follow us and you've seen the car run. It's, it's competitive, but not competitive enough for uh, pro-am driving. So we, uh, we put a VQ in this one and took uh, all the SR components and put it in this one. So this one's running uh, all my 2016 setup. Uh, Link standalone, all the injectors, cams, uh, you name it, it's all in there. So we're going with a fresh build and uh, you know, hope, hopefully gain some more power and uh, that extra bit of torque that we need for, for that season and uh, hopefully get some more points. So uh, we'll grab the other camera here, walk you around the car, let Jesse tell you about it. I uh, hope you enjoy this video. So yeah, just uh, you know the car the best. Yeah. Walk us through it. What have you done? What are your plans? So basically, with this car, um, we grabbed the motor from another drifter, a fellow drifter. His name's Nick Monroe. Uh, I've seen the car drive, and uh, I've always liked 350Zs. So uh, we went with uh, with the 350Z motor from that car and uh, all of his components. So um, we're going to be pushing more power, a lot more torque, uh, is what we're is what we're really needing, right? So. Also uh, six speed too, so um, shift is sitting a little farther back, but uh, it's solid and that extra gear is gonna be good and going through three trannies last year was uh, not really ideal, so. If you guys can see that, it's pretty dark. Yeah, it's pretty dark in there, but motor's sitting a little high too. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, with, with, with custom, custom building, you know, it's, uh, it doesn't always work out as as the kits would so this is a full custom swap that I, I did in, in this shop here so um, it is sitting a little high but that's for claims of the steering and the, and the oil oil pan because we have to run a spacer for, for fittings and stuff so um, it's sitting a little high but I don't think it's gonna be an issue all right just pop a nice uh, high hood there yeah we're gonna do a little cowl or something like that should be fine. Um, did new front end too Cut the front end off, so this is all new. Yeah, kind looks, of stagger stitched. looks good. Yeah, um, new front bash bar. We wanted to kind of change it all up and kind of go with a with a fresh build. Looks sick. Yeah, it's come together. It really is. Uh, it's kind of took quite the beating last year. Yeah, it did. It's nice, it's still. Yeah, well, I mean, it's been stripped, but the carnage is still there. This fender really did uh, do some damage. You guys probably seen in Claire's home there. We, uh, we're definitely dragging bumper. <laughs> yeah, on the hay bales there? Yeah. <laughs> she's a little dented, but... Yeah, it's hard to see, but... Yeah, she's dented. Body work will be the same. Um, we're gonna go with a different color. Not really sure what we're gonna go with, but uh, we're gonna switch it up a bit. Um, same rear end, custom one piece drive shaft, um, three inch exhaust, um, you know, BC coils. Uh, we're running rev up tune, so I'm kind of just playing with the uh, with the wiring and stuff now. The tuning and stuff like that is gonna be the biggest issue I think with this car. Oh, wiring's such a bitch. Yeah, it's and it's fun. it's electric throttle too, so there's there's no cable on this uh, throttle body, so um, not running a standalone. It's kind of uh, putting a, a damper on on the progress as uh, the wiring's a little bit more complex, but. So what's going on with this Miata here? This Miata has SR20 Miata. Yeah, yeah, as I was saying before, pretty much. Uh, Got this car for a really good deal and uh, couldn't resist it. Basically got this shell with nothing on it. So this is a this is a full on build. Didn't come with any doors or anything, any suspension, nothing. So um, as I said before, we, we took the SR20 out of this car, put it in here. Once again, custom swap again. Um, this is 
same kind of thing, you know, uh, the steering was an issue and the oil pump was an issue and stuff like that, but uh, it's, uh, it's it, did, cool. it did work out, yeah. It's probably going to haul ass. Oh, it's going to be super quick. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and uh, like I said, all, all the components on this motor are, are, are high end, so this car is kind of more of the, the street cruiser kind of show off car. Might take it to the track once in a while, but yeah. it's pretty much just going to try try to keep it keep it clean, you know. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Custom front end on this one as well and she looks back with paint. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this I mean doing two motor swaps was, yeah, was... It makes me look so lazy. <laughs> when you're doing fucking yeah. nothing. Well doing two over winter was uh I really I really didn't plan that out too well, but it's they're coming together. This car is kinda you know, I'm pushing it back. I'm not really working on it as much anymore. This this is kind of our project. We're gonna hopefully debut it at World of Wheels in Calgary. Oh yeah. Come uh, come February, yeah, end of February, World of Wheels. So hopefully. I'll put the date for World of Wheels somewhere right here. Somewhere so there. You guys yeah. Can go say what's up. Yeah. Yeah. We'll throw that in there, but uh, yeah, I'd hopefully like to make that, and then first event in Cali would be uh, end of March. Um, hopefully funding goes well, and and we can get this car together. But you're obviously gonna run Spec D again. Yeah, gonna run Spec D. We registered with them already, so. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting year. Not really. I haven't really checked out who's who's driving this year and stuff, but uh, a lot of good competitors in that league, and and it's uh, it's good for for Alberta and Western Canada. So support uh, the local scene for sure. Support the local scene, man, for sure. Yeah, run Spec D, do some states events. Um, just keep you know pushing and, and making this this sport a little bigger. You know, you gotta just gotta keep promote having, it. Keep having fun. Keep keep at it, man. You know, it's. Maybe my car will make a debut at Claire's home one yeah, day. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, get get it sideways. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, obviously you can see I like Nissan, so we're, oh, we're, yeah, we're staying all Nissan here. Keeping the SR20 in the Miata. Yeah. I like it. I do too. I, I'm honestly pretty pretty anxious to see this car done. I, I'm thinking of doing a, because it's a, a roadster, you know, there's no top, so it's going to be a rag top, but I'm thinking of doing like some crazy cage, kind of like Mad Mike or style, like, so, you know, something along those lines. But that's all in due time. But yeah, for anyone watching this, Jesse does all the cage work, all the tube fronts, everything yeah. on his cars. He runs a fabrication shop called Titan Fabrication, if you haven't figured it out by now. Yeah. <laughs> but make sure you go to their Insta or his Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. I'll also put that right here somewhere. Yeah, we, we do bumpers and shit too. This is, for, uh, this is for an 03 Dodge. That's sick. Just got powder coat and stuff, so. We kind of we like to make people's ideas into a reality and uh, kind of work with the clients to yeah to I, see, I see your work want, on right? the groups so, all the time everyone's always stoked so. yeah good yeah just trying to you know offer competitive rates and, and give people what they want for top dollars so all right right so any truck guys i know there's a few of you on here if you yeah. need some custom bumpers yeah bumpers roll gauges exhaust work anything jesse's the man yeah man you need roll yeah whatever whatever you need yeah roll gauges and stuff cool cool Oil, extra diffs, extra motors. You're saying oh. this is like an old barn you converted into a shop? Yep, old barn. It used to be like horse stalls and shit. You know, keep our motors in here and our pipe vendors and fucking... You name it, it's in here. It's kind of storage. We're done right now. Yeah. So you got some uh, beaten up cars outside? Yo, I got some beaten up cars outside, that's for sure. Got beaten up cars all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's this? Is this your car? Or no, this no, this is, uh, this is actually my buddy uh, Adrian's car. Some people probably know him in the car scene here in Calgary, but uh, the roll cage in it was, to be to be honest, was absolute garbage, so Man, you get um, this. this is all his work, but I'm kind of guiding him. But yeah, it's got a, it's got a new cage in it. Some it's drift missile. Drift missile, exactly. But it's getting the cage done in it. I'm kind of guiding him, like I said. He, he kind of wants to learn how to uh, build bull cages and, and help out the shop and whatnot, so he's kind of the, the apprentice, I guess you'd say. But this is his car. It's got, it's got a 1J. It makes good power. You know, it's kind of lacking a wire tuck and stuff, but it is a 1JZ. It has been taken out, cleaned up. New coil packs, new manifold. Uh, Custom front end and stuff, so Some fun on the track. Yeah, I think this is something you know you bring the Claire's home and 
throw around for fun. Oh, for sure. I don't think he's going to be competing or anything. It's kind of just a little project car. Once again, steal of the deal. I think we got that car for like a thousand bucks. So, oh, it's not bad. This is kind of a donor car for for the SR Miata. Oh, I think it's mint. It's, it's mint, man. <laughs> it's so mint. Got a brand new windshield in it. Brand new. Look yeah. at that. It's got yeah. Steering rack just had new bushings put in. But no, basically we, we needed the suspension, we needed the arms, we needed the brakes, so um, we picked this car up and we're gonna we're gonna strip it and so, take it off to the dump. So little. They're so little. It's amazing. When I had that other car with no motor in it, I could I could lift it up. It was it was awesome. Maybe a little rocket. Things tiny. Some of you guys might remember this car. Alright, this with the banana. This is the banana rama. Once upon a time. Number 12 M. This car actually won me 2014 Am series. It was a uh, it was a good first car. I you know I smashed the shit out of it. Oh, yeah. Put it into a wall in Pro Am first year. Fixed it on the track. Ran Am the next day, and it's just never been really true. This strut power has been completely freaking mangled so many times. It's actually separated from the from the frame rail. So that's when I tried to give it up. I said, yeah, this car has uh, seen its day. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I meant to film the outro there at the shop, but just totally blanked. We will be working with Jesse this year, so if you haven't already, go below, subscribe, so you can see all the cool drifting in the new car. Um, I know lately the content's been a little slow, if not really slow, but it's the middle of winter here in Canada, and there's just really not that much to film. But springtime's coming soon. We got huge plans. I'm going hard this year. Every car event I can possibly get to. We'll be there filming, making videos. So yeah, really, go below, subscribe, because you don't want to miss it. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.